Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. Gonna be another long show. I'm gonna apologize for that. Uh, due to... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Might lay there. Might, might. I got a question. Since we kind of just screwed around yesterday and didn't really... Do people... Do you... I'll start with you. Do you listen to your body? Not mentally, but to your body. If your body's like, I am tired, I am going to go to sleep. And I, and I am tired, I'm not going to do this. Or do you go, you know what, I'm just going to push through because i got to do stuff. i got to get stuff done. And I'm not... Uh, Both. I'm kind of... I, I all listen all to my life. body in certain ways. There's certain times it tells me that it needs to do things. I like use the bathroom. Well, that's not... I do other things. I don't think that's do your... Do other things. I no, think you're, you're mentally... talking about if your back hurts or... Yes, if you feel if, bad, if you're if sick. You're fatigued or yes. stuff like that. Yes, I am I am trying my hardest to teach while training. I've trained this, this one person... And it's always when they're sick, they want to keep they want to keep coming. Like I don't want to let I don't want to let me down. And I'm like, you know, I'm you know, I'm useless in this deal. I'm just showing you some tools. Well, I'll say this: if you have a cold, if you have that, if you can't find time, Barry, kitchen manager down at the backyard, he's been sick, and finally over the weekend he got to stay home, stay in bed. And after two days, he felt better. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to rest. I, that's where I'm going, man. That's you guys that try to plug it through and push through. Are I, I get it, but and it and, and Barry had a lot of work going on. But when you, and stress because and stress the kitchen was getting yeah slammed. But when you have time, and you don't have to. Well, man, everybody's gonna go out tonight, so I'm gonna meet everybody out to eat and. Even though you're sitting there, your body's still working. Your body's still having to work. It's not resting. And I, where I'm going with Big C, hit, hit me up the other day. He's like, hey, this is the guy I want to look like. I want to do this. I said, great. You're on the right track. Your food's good. Got to rest. You got you to be able to rest. Because when you sleep is when your body goes to work. Right. Is when you are, your mind is shut off, your body goes. I told him, it's like little men in there. Working, repairing all your deals. Some people just don't get it. Just don't get it. Well, there's, and there's a whole lot of things that there's so many uh, so many factors that go into it. The way you eat. Yeah. If you eat crappy, you're gonna you're crappy. gonna be tired. Yep, and feel crappy. Yep. I agree. If Good call. you do the no carb thing, at some point you're gonna feel tired. That's your energy. If you know. <clears throat> I, I don't know. Every, everybody's different. Yeah. Everybody. But you, what you're saying is absolutely right. There is a lifestyle change. There is a quick fix. If you're going for a quick fix, what you said, the paleo, the no carb, the all this stuff that you just want to drop those 10 to 12 just for this before, you know, this time, you're right. It's going to work. It mm -hmm. will work. But what it does to you in the long time and when it's over the weight comes back faster. Well, what most people don't understand, if you do a diet like that, it's supposed to help you change your whole regimen and not just go back to McDonald's. Correct. But most time, man, I'm down 12 pounds. <laughs> I, let's go to Chewy's and eat a pound of that green sauce, you know, and it just doesn't yeah, work that you're way. Not, you know, you're right. You are absolutely right. I got I'm another. on one right now. It's what my breakfast is. Okay. Turkey. Okay, that's good. Spinach, okay, and uh, boiled eggs, okay. Right. Let me tell you what, ain't no that ain't a very good breakfast, as far as taste. Yeah, but you got to get. <clears throat> you're a you're a you like taste. You like taste. I have learned over the years, and that's that's where <laughs> yeah. we different. I've learned over the years. It is just food is just fuel. It's just I don't taste stuff. And I, and I kind of wish I did sometimes. Like then I just then don't. why did you like going to a Vegas buffet? Because I want sushi and I want that chicken. But if if the taste has nothing to do for it, 
then it shouldn't matter where you eat. No, it shouldn't matter, but I like sushi. I can't get sushi at Arby's. I can't I, get sushi I understand here, so that, that's but why I like if it. food is just food for you, why do you go, man, I want some sushi? So some things still, is to the taste. No, I still like food. It's just if you give me the same food every day, I can eat it. If you said I had to go to Vegas every day, I'd be fine. You say if I had to eat... I could go to Vegas every day, no, too, for a different had, reason. If I had to eat the hard-boiled eggs, like, you know, stuff like you're doing, it's I, it's not a problem. I just, there's a... I look at it like this. You got Your car's got to have gas. Your body's got to have fuel. That's all it is. I'm just... I'm, I don't have taste. Like you said, salsa, it all tastes the same to me. Every salsa is exactly the same. From paste to El after Chico's. 30, after 30 years, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm just salsa. Yeah. That's it, buddies. And I don't know how to differ. And until <laughs> never, we're out of here. <laughs> oh. That is what I, it's hard for me. And people are, give me what, what is your, uh, you know what? What's your best salsa? I love El Chico salsa. Okay. I want to know. That's our deal today. What and it's is because best? it's the salsa I grew up on. Okay. I mean, Elkhorn's good. Number nine is good. Uh, La Fiesta's good. But the one I grew up on is El Chico. And that's the one I like the best. And I'd never go there anymore. Right. Because I don't go to corporate places anymore. Oh, okay. Damn. Except Chewy's or Damn, Cheddar's. Or... Legit. But there you go. What Anybody know what happened at Bubba's? Uh, what happened? Fire trucks everywhere this morning. I did not know anything happened about So hopefully everybody's okay and all that good stuff. Dude. It's blowing up. You got to. You... <clears throat> hey, well, we can silence it. Yeah. Because I sent the deal out going what happened at Bubba's. Going right now, headed towards the circle. Watch it be a Feel the Boots promotion. <laughs> all right, what's anyway, our time? We are at seven minutes. We got plenty of time to bore these people. I got another deal. I want to first want to know what everybody's favorite salsa is. Me. You already know mine. It can go from paste to El Chico's. I don't care. It's just, I'm eating it. If people hated the telephone and hated the ring, remember back in the day when the ring? Mm -hmm. Why does everybody have their cell phone mostly on the ringer? I don't, I don't know anybody that hated the ring. Well, you know what I mean. They, they just hated was, it. I was, was saying when it, old. when it first came out. Yeah. Why do people, if you're out working, I get it. I get it. But like, if your cell phone, can you feel the vibration? No. Okay. Not usually. Because my pants are baggy and it doesn't really touch me. Okay. And my phone is never, 95% of the time, it's on silent. Right. Because it, it goes off all the time. Yeah. Whether notifications, whether text, whatever. So I usually keep it off. Unless... It's in the morning, and I lay back down or whatever. Then I turn it on just to where I won't miss anything. But most time it's off because I check it enough that I don't have to have you it have on. You don't. I always keep mine off unless we are outside working. This help. This this vibrates now. Okay. This has a haptic that vibrates. Unless we're out. outside working. But I have noticed a lot of people when they're in a movie, in a bar, uh, in a restaurant, in the mall, that son of a gun will just go off. And the problem is they don't reach and try to get it the first ring. It's like ring, 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 ring. Oh, I know that. And I'm like, just. If mine's uh, on ringer and rings, sometimes uh, I don't answer it right off because I'm so used to it being on silent. I'm like, somebody's damn phone's ringing. <laughs> oh, that's me. Ah. <laughs> uh, What's your best salsa? That's what I want to know. Who is your favorite salsa? Somebody's going to have a homemade salsa that their mom makes. Somebody's going to hey, say drop something them off, different. And you'll taste them. And I'll taste them. I'll eat them. Don't get me wrong. I'll eat them. I just ain't going to be able to tell you if it's any good or not. We should have a salsa contest. You know, I don't even think they have the salsa contest at Margarita Salsa anymore. We ought to have one at the backyard. That's what I'm thinking. Ought to have a bad... Brent, salsa deal, set them everybody up in there, and whoever wins, you have the best salsa sponsored on the show. I hear our banker Charlie's wife 
makes a damn good salsa. Really? That's what I'll I give hear. a shout out to Charlie. Get us some salsa. Don't text him though, because he broke his face and he hadn't got it fixed yet. So Dang. probably oh, won't get oh, it. Oh yeah, I thought you meant like he went skiing and broke his face. No, I happened to me once. But. Uh, today's sponsor, Elysium Cryotherapy, and I'm gonna tell you something. I have dogs making you miss. I didn't even miss yesterday. I took it with me. I'm not missing. If I got to drag this mutt right here with me, I will not miss. Hey, well, let's let. Did I? Do we have an explanation on the anniversary and Stephanie not saying happy anniversary? Yes. Let's hear it. Her exact words, Miss Stephanie. Her exact words. I I, I I forgot. I'm glad you sent me a text. I didn't even know. I went, I didn't either, trust me. She went, I, you know, didn't even. I. And I sent the text first because of you. You reminded us both. And that's what I love about her. She could care less. That's why I was the best man and, and yeah, the bridesmaid. You were both of that. That is probably why I love her the most. She doesn't give a crap about anything because she got her dog. So I was like, sure. I'm happy. Well, y'all are a perfect match then. I am happy. <laughs> I said, I said, do you want to do anything that last night? I said, you want to do anything? She said, for what? I said, the Not with that dog here, she, she went. She went, nope. I went, okay, perfect. I'm in. So, going to get my freeze on today. I am hurting for some reason. Going to get my freeze on today. I'm going to listen to my so body. so damn old. That's why. I'm going to listen to my body, get my OLD ligaments healed up. And if you guys want to, go hit them up. Aaron's hit them up. Uh, I don't know if anybody that's been texting me, a lot of people text us, Elysium Cryotherapy, it is a freeze chamber. It helps you 100%. And don't think you can go once no. and it cure you. You have to go three times a week to get optimal. I, I'm not saying if you go, you're not going to feel better. Because right. you will. Right. But... For the most part, you got to go multiple days in a row every week to get the full effect. And it know. really does work. It's 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 a it, just look it up. The cryo chambers, the athletes use it, and it's blood flow. It is blood flow, and the one thing that he promises, and it has worked, because I've gone after bowling on Thursday, it will cure a hangover. I tried that. I don't know if it did mine. Maybe mine was hungover. You, you I hung over a little further harder. Uh, we're going to get out of here, man. Elysium Cryotherapy. They're over there in the Richland area the, on Richland Drive, the little Richland shopping center by the behind the post office. Kind of catty corners from clicks. Yep. And get over there. Tell them Red Sea sent you. Get you a good freeze on. You're going to be super happy. Until tomorrow. Oh, and today is the Philly Tots for lunch. I'm super excited Take about Take the that. Philly and put it on top of the Ooh. Tots. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's why I won't go. I Ooh, can't have gotta it. have an egg. Bye -bye. All right, man. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out.